Hey guys, so today I am super excited to bring you a little haul from ColourPop. If you haven't heard of them yet, um, where have you been? No, <laughs> just kidding. But really, no. Um, ColourPop is a brand that has recently, over a little while, become super popular through YouTube and everywhere. Um, they've blown up and become very popular pretty fast. Um, and they're also super affordable, so I obviously really wanted to try some stuff. Um, and they have great reviews and everybody loves them. So yeah, I was super excited. Um, I finally ordered about two weeks ago, which it did take a little bit longer than I had expected. It took about a week to process and ship, and then a week from then for me to receive them. Um, which they are across the country, so... I mean, that's kind of understandable. Well, halfway. I don't know. Anyways, it did take a little bit what? Anyways, it did take a little while for me to get them, so keep that in mind. Um, but it was worth the wait because I absolutely love everything I've tried. Um, I did want to try, for sure, I wanted to try their eyeshadows, which are very popular. Um, and they are only five dollars. They're five dollars each. Um, their lippy sticks, lippy pencils are five dollars each. Um, the only things that are more are like the blushes, and the recently came out also came out with like bronzers and highlighters, which I believe are eight dollars. It's really hot in here, which is not good for this pregnant girl. So I'm gonna try to hurry. their blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and stuff are $8, and pretty much everything else is $5. So, I definitely wanted to try the eyeshadows, which, if you haven't seen them yet, um, all their eyeshadows and blushes and everything have kind of a weird, interesting, kind of spongy, like, texture. Like, you might be able to see where my finger was. Um... And the best way to apply these is like with your finger or something because of the texture. So like if you press on it, it almost feels like spongy. But um, this one is, I wanted some very wearable shades that I could use on the lid and, or inner corner. So this one is girly and I do have a little bit of that on the inner corner, just a little bit. Um, and this is a pearlized finish. I believe this one is described as having like kind of pink and silver kind of glitter throughout it. It's really pretty. So I love that one. And again, that's girly. You want to make sure you close these really tight so they don't dry out. And then this one is a matte and it is cop a feel. I do have a little bit of this on the lid too. Just on the center. And again, that's Kappa Feel. So, a lot of them have really good reviews, but these ones seem just to be really popular. So, I definitely want to try those. And then I did want to try at least one blush. Um, so, I wanted to get a color that I would wear a lot. So, I decided to go with Between the Sheets, which is a matte. It's what I'm wearing today. And it is described as a mid-tone beige pink. So, yeah. Just kind of a really good everyday color. Um, and I did apply it just using my e.l.f. angled blush brush. And it worked. So, yeah. So this is just a gorgeous kind of everyday color. And then, of course, I had to try the lippy sticks. First, I have Westy, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, it is described as a soft, dusty, baby pink, and a matte finish. So I would say that's exactly what it is. Um, Sorry, it's kind of a messy swatch there. But that is Westy. So 
so yeah it's pretty much just the perfect kind of light pink and these do have just a very very faint um, vanilla scent which to me is like the perfect scent for any lip product um, I hate when products have like a really chemically um, scent or really any other scent other than vanilla so that is Westy and then I also got the pencil so you can kind of line your lips with the pencil first or maybe even like use it on its own um, so that's the pencil in Westy I could wear that like on its own too and like wear a gloss over it but next I have Frida which was developed by Coffee Break with Danny so I had to get Frida <laughs> Um, I love Coffee Break with Danny. Um, it is described as a warm mid-tone nude pink with a satin finish for the woman fueled by a substantial amount of coffee. So I actually haven't tried this one yet, but I really need to. Um, so that is Frida. I should have put this one on for this video because now I really want to try it. But yeah is Frida. Really pretty. I know she, part of her point in that shade too was also so it would work for basically anyone. And that's the same again with Lumiere which was developed by Kathleen Lights um, and it's described as a dusty mauve pink in a matte finish. She says, I wanted a color that both bold and shy people could wear. It's not a nude. It would look great on everyone. So, um, I did post a picture yesterday where I had put on Lumiere and then just a little bit of Westie on top of it to make it a little bit more pink. Sorry, swatch. I'm terrible with swatches. Can you tell? But, um, that is Lumiere. So yeah, I just wanted some colors that I would definitely wear a lot. Like some of the brighter pinks were really pretty, but there's not really colors I would wear a ton. So yeah, pretty much all these are kind of everyday kind of colors and they're just really pretty. Um, the mattes at least last really well on the lips. Like I still had some left yesterday after blotting my lips a little bit, um, eating, drinking, <laughs> I still had some on my lips. So these do last really well. So that's it for my order from ColourPop. Um, I definitely like the products. I love the eyeshadows. Um, today's my first day trying the blush, um, but yesterday I did have a little bit of girly on the lid and inner corner and it held up really well through a long hot day. So yeah. I love this stuff so far and I would highly recommend you trying them too. Um, they, again, they do have free shipping over $30. Um, so if you just try some stuff, you know, you can easily reach $30. And right now, I believe through at least the end of May, um, which is the same thing I did, if you sign up for their emails, you get a coupon for $5 off, which is basically one free lippy stick or eyeshadow so yeah that's pretty awesome um i'm gonna go now because it is hot in here um yeah it's really hot and i forgot to even say anything at the beginning of this um yeah obviously i chopped my hair um yeah on friday but I'm so glad it was before this hot weekend and it just feels so good to not have all that hair. Once it gets hot and humid, like my hair does not want to cooperate at all. And I just needed a summer mom cut because I'm going to be home and outside a lot more where it's hot. Um, so yeah, it feels really good to have that gone. So <laughs> yeah, so even if I like, um, I think next time I want to get a little more angled, but even if I grow it out a bit more before next summer, I have a feeling I'll end up going really short again because, yeah, it just feels good. So, anyway, I'm going to go now.
it's hot. So I will see you in my next video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.